What's up guys, how's it going? It's Timmy Joe. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, quick impromptu type of video today. Uh, this is my Media Center PC I use in my bedroom. We haven't been using that that much lately. We don't really watch uh, TV, uh, me and my wife, in our bedroom that often. But the kid certainly does in the morning when we're getting ready uh, to start our day. He usually watches that uh, Cancer of Children's YouTube Blippy, if you know what that is. Uh, yeah, Blippi's been a problem in our household, but, uh, never mind. So, he thought this was a piggy bank. He has a, uh, toy choo-choo piggy bank in his room. We let him put quarters and stuff in it. He grabbed some spare change from the dresser and, uh, shoved a loony or something inside of the SD card slot. And the computer immediately shut off. And I'm glad and thankful that he was not electrocuted. I was very worried that the computer would not turn back on. However, it uh, did after I pulled the power supply out of the back of it. And uh, ever since then, it's been uh, haunted. Number one, it oh, seems to overheat. Uh, I don't know if he shorted out uh, a fan or, or something. Uh, I thought this was passively cooled. Uh, another thing is uh, the time on in Windows and in the BIOS just jumps all over the place. It's always like a few hours off even if you just fixed it. So uh, you can easily remove these rubber feet at the bottom of it and uh, access uh, a RAM slot, the um, um, wireless card, and a two and a half inch uh, hard drive there. But uh, let's get it over there, and we'll open her up and see if we can't uh, break it even further, or maybe fix it. If I can't fix it, I've got some sponsored content coming up with a mini PC quite like this. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Okay, so I have not touched this thing since uh, I initially set it all up, but uh, I don't think we'll have too much trouble getting into it. Um, let's go ahead and take the hard drive out first. It's kind of a waste. I don't think there's more than uh, maybe 12 gigs worth of stuff on this hard drive, and it's a 64 gig SSD. So, here we have our mini logic board from Zotac with a Celeron processor there. And you know what? The thermal paste that holds it to this rather large chunk here. So I'm of the belief that this uh, thermal paste being completely disintegrated uh, is not helping matters. So I even took this a step further. So this would be a like radiator plate, basically just a metal housing. Uh, it fits in there like that, some probably like this. And then uh, this, this is a thermal pad that feels very rubbery and useless. Uh, it conducts heat onto this plate here where it radiates through all of those little holes. And that is just a solid block of aluminum that is attached to the processor. So um, I don't know if I can do much about this. Like really I shouldn't even probably be touching it, but I will definitely replace the thermal compound and make sure that these screws are tied down tight again. And uh, hopefully that alleviates the overheating issues, but I don't see how that co corresponds with the issue of uh, shorting out the SD card slot and the time, so I don't know. Just in case you ever wanted to see in one of these mini PCs, that would be that would be it right there. Um, between there and there, there's just a little riser there that gives you access to two more USB ports, but uh, underneath the SD card slot, there's an IR blaster there. I don't see that there's any issues with like a, a point of like burntness or burning on the board so whatever he did I don't really think I think it was just maybe going as it was so all right I got it all cleaned off there and the only uh, silicone heat transfer compound I can find is this I, I don't even know if this is even worth doing at this point but we're going to <laughs> Uh, 
Eh, that should be like way more than enough. That is some seriously questionable situation. That's not right. <laughs> Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's better. Zotac. PC health. 32 Celsius. So that was at like 50 something before all the time, right? Yeah, it was at like almost 60. Yeah. So I think that fixed it automatically. But it's not like we put the PC under load. But we're running a Celeron N2930 at 1.83 gigahertz with 4 gigs of 13. 33 megahertz DDR3. <clears throat> well, I would say that it's not going to go much higher than 40, and that processor should probably be good for like 60 or 80 degrees for sure. But uh, will it do Cinebench? So oh, it's a quad core. Hmm. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is some terrible performance. <laughs> 97, didn't even crack a hundo. But it did not reset this whole time, so I would imagine that we fix the thermal issues and we'll let you know about the clock. But I'm Timmy Joe, today we fixed a computer that was overheating and I feel good about it. If you have any questions about the teardown of a Zotac mini PC, I'm, I'm your guy. Well, now that that's fixed, I guess I should get on to, uh, get back on to this.